Hi everybody, it's me Bernie P here. Um, welcome back to uh, my channel. I know it's been a while since I've made some videos. So I thought that maybe I would kind of just kind of give you an update of what's uh, been going on lately. Well, I've been working a lot um, in school. I've uh, been doing a lot of studying. I've decided to take up a language course. Um, seeing that I am from Canada and I live in the province of Quebec, um, where the language here is mainly French, I decided to go to school and uh, brush up on my French language. Um, now it was needed uh, because my French wasn't really that good. Actually, I knew just a little tiny bit of French. So I decided to do that. So that kind of took up a lot of my time. Um, here and there, there were some projects that came along, um, kind of uh, things that were offered um, or proposed where um, potential jobs or a job could have came out of it. Um, it was an opportunity. Just let me check. Shut off my. Um, I got my. I, my monitors right here behind me so it was opportunities that I thought that if I invested my time into that um, something would have came out of it now there's still a possibility something might come out uh, I can't really talk about it because I had uh, signed a uh, waiver um, basically to not reveal any of the details of the project um, now there is another project that's coming that I am also waiting on, which I can kind of talk about. It's basically it is related to the previous project, uh, but I can, won't say what it's related to. But it has to do with converting a uh, oil tanker that uh, has been purchased by a rich couple in China. Uh, and my job was to create a proposal, a video proposal, of converting this oil rig into um, something related to the project at hand that was given to me prior. So I'm still kind of waiting on that. Um, again, uh, these things tend to fall on my lap and I'm always kind of pushed into doing it because um, right now I'm not working. I'm getting a little bit of money from the government. The actually, the government's paying me to go to school. So I thought, why not take opportunity for that? Um, lately, what else have I been doing? Well, I have been working on a board game project. Now, if you haven't gone to my website lately, just go to studioparsons.com. Um, it hasn't been really updated. Like there are, there is some things that I've got put up there, but there, there's a there is a recent blog, and I will be adding another blog, um, uh, sh uh, showcasing uh, a video, uh, uh, kind of promoting the board game. There's a, a bit of CG in there. Well, it's all CG. Basically, I just redid the whole entire game board in CG and uh, did some simple animations with some text kind of explaining what the game is all about. Now the game's called V Dimension, I can mention that to you. Um, I My job was to kind of at the beginning uh, just kind of create some artwork. I kind of got more involved when I saw um, the the previous design which was done by the overall creator uh, scene justice um, uh, who came up with the game idea and I kind of figured I, I felt that it needed a little bit more attention seeing that I was investing my time um, uh, kind of pro bono um, also for shares within the company um, so that if the game does become successful hopefully it will uh, something will pay back in the end hopefully either some money or a full-time job working on the digital part um, so with that said I kind of got involved a little bit more deeper into it where I did all the, 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 the play cards which um, there are nine decks in total 
Um, I totally redesigned the, the look and the feel of the game board. Um, and I kind of put together a somewhat okay website. It was not, it's not one of those big game professional websites. But again, um, this was all stuff that I had to do with my spare time. And at the end, I couldn't put much more into it because I had to dedicate my time um, into um, the development, well, uh, into my study, sorry. I'm just looking at this firewall thing. It just keeps popping up on my screen. Uh, it's distracting me. Uh, it's always this Microsoft Photos. Wants to, so Microsoft, I'm telling you, I just recently been watching a video uh, from Barnacles. Um, if you know who this guy is, he's uh, he has a channel call, called Nerd Orgasm, Nerd Nerdgasm, um, and this guy used to work for Microsoft. He used to be a programmer, and he got fired a couple of years ago. And now he's kind of like letting us know what Microsoft has been doing to our computers lately since the uh, anniversary edition came out. Um, so kind of off the topic, but. Uh, it's kind of been bugging me since I read about it, and now I'm kind of seeing here that uh, Microsoft just wants to keep on installing more crap into my computer. So, um, in the end, right now, what I've been doing is I've been I was kind of doing um, some video game stuff, mostly with Minecraft. You know, being on other servers, uh, trying to create a community with other people and um, make some videos out of it now I didn't ex want to kind of do this to make money um, but I thought that something might work out where um, you know all these videos and content that I was doing would have brought in more subs so I kind of it was just dying it was just not working for me it was probably working for those who I was uh, playing on the server, um, whom I'm, I still appreciate uh, the opportunity to play with, um, but to me it was just it was just the same thing over and over again, um, and I got tired of it. So I just decided to push away from just playing Minecraft, and then I just took a break for a while, and uh, now I'm kind of back into doing game reviews. Um, uh, mostly free-to-play games, either on um, the Microsoft App Store or on uh, Steam. So uh, I'm kind of doing that on the side. Plus, I'm doing things, for, you know, family-oriented videos, um, stuff with my kids, and things like that. So I'm busy doing a lot of kind of video content on YouTube. Um, and now I'm going to be back here on my uh, Studio Parsons uh, channel where I'll be doing more video tutorials and um, I've actually decided to get back into uh, the creative side of things not just doing things like graphic design or CG stuff because I don't really have a lot of content videos that I've uploaded but I've been doing this for quite a long time like I've done everything from I started off when I first came here doing like simple graphic design for t-shirts where back in the day we weren't even using computers for lithographs you know for font styles and sets you know we were doing everything literally by hand and um, eventually I worked my way up uh, to computer graphic design and multimedia and and 2d and 3d animation so I've been doing a lot of things like web design uh, multimedia for web um, I've worked on uh, some, some projects that were related to television. Um, I donated some some pieces to documentaries, um, to where I, you know, I got into working for some, uh, working mostly on contract at home, uh, doing um, also mobile video games, where it got me uh, an opportunity to work for a video game company in Montreal, um, Game Horizon, um, which I don't think exists anymore, uh, unfortunately. So, um, you know, I've been doing all these things, and now I've just kind of uh, been putting things on hold so that I can um, get my my French uh, back, get my French learning. Um, 
Uh, because it, only because it's just a little difficult here in Quebec, uh, they really enforce the French language. Um, and, you know, I felt that it was needed if I want to kind of succeed in doing other things for myself and not just work for other companies uh, because I have a lot of skills. So, which leads me to the point was that I'm going back to old school stuff that I used to do when I was much younger before I even got into computer graphics and graphic design or anything related to computers. And I'm going back to building and constructing and th painting, uh, airbrushing, uh, sculpting is another one thing that I'm going to be getting into. And I want to use my sculpting uh, abilities as I progress because I'm a little rusty. It's been a long time since I've uh, had my hands on uh, clay of, of and certain materials. Um, so now I've been just doing constant research, research, research because I don't only want to just do the sculpting, um, or I want to do um, I want to use uh, the sculpting as a means of creating either props, um, my own line of toys, uh, things like that. Because I do also sell toys as well. Um, which again, my company, uh, Action Play Hobbies, you can go check out my channel on that as well. The site's down right now because uh, I had went through a transition where um, I was using another company to host my website and it seemed that there was some exploit um, that caused me to have some issues with credit card fraud, <laughs> which it seems to be the big thing these days uh, with online shopping. So that thing is, was kind of put on hold, but now it's coming back. So um, it was a hobby of mine that I loved, and I loved the action figures, and I loved collecting, and I always wanted to start my own line of toys. So that's one of the things that I'm going to try and get back into. Plus, I want to get into things like prop making, uh, just being very creative um, and doing things hands-on where I feel that it's something that a lot of people these days who decide to get into the multimedia or the graphic design or uh, even in the gaming industry as a modeler or an uh, environment modeler and stuff like that, they kind of um, don't have the, the real skill of, of, of understanding how to create, to create with your hands instead of using a um, you know a, a mouse or um, a tablet with a pen and sitting there drawing all these things are cool but to me they're just tools and if you just rely on one type of tool you're kind of missing out on other things so that's why I'm coming back to uh, do a lot of other cool things. I will be doing a lot more 3D modeling. I will get more into uh, the graphic design aspect on how to pro how how I do things in Photoshop, in Illustrator, and how I use all of these uh, applications to kind of benefit um, certain things um, in my creation process. Um, and that's pretty much it I kind of want to just update you guys out there that who may be following me I don't have a lot of followers but hopefully within the next months and years to come I will produce be producing a lot of content that uh, you guys will be enjoying right now my spare time whenever I have I like to sit back and play some video games so you know those things I'll I end up just doing some simple videos and I pop them up whenever I can when things start picking up in uh, in in my my design field here and and start working on some other cool things the video game stuff will just end up just disappearing uh, it doesn't even bother me that it, if it's just by luck that you know it becomes popular I just really don't want to get into it because um, I, I like being more creating. I don't want to be just sitting in front of a computer all day playing video games as a living. Um, it's it's not a healthy choice in, in today's society, especially you know with a lot of obesity and things that's going on around with uh, you know weight issues. Working like I've spent most of my life. Uh, with my jobs just sitting in front of a computer all day and not getting enough exercise where to point my doctor told me that if I don't quit doing what I do um, I'm slowly killing myself um, because right now I have a lot of health issues that I have to deal with 
and this is another thing that I have to kind of tackle in my life to get better at. And I thought, well, what a better way to to get better in life is to not do things that always allows me to sit in front of a computer, uh, which I kind of recommend if you have, you know, this kind of lifestyle where you sit in front of a computer, walk away. It's, it's not necessary. You don't need to do that. There's so many other fun things to do out there uh, in the world. Um, you know, even if you want to use, say, YouTube as a means to make money, um, you know, there are a lot of people out there doing really amazing and cool stuff. Um, that doesn't need you to be sitting in front of a computer playing video games all day. Let some skinny young guy, uh, you know, who has, uh, you know, enough people to follow him where he can make money, let him do that job, you know. Uh, find something that is more, um, you know, what can I say, uh, not so predictable, you know, everybody's doing the same thing these days, there's like a hundred people doing like Rob, Roblox and uh, Minecraft and, you know, you can only sit there and watch th these kind of videos so much every day and it's just repeating and repeating itself, um, so be a little bit more creative and imaginative in, in your decision in life. So now this is just coming a philosophy thing and uh, <laughs> so, um, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I'm ho I'm really looking forward to uh, doing some creative stuff here on my channel and uh, putting more of my artwork up on my website. Um, and I will let you know uh, how things will go out in, in the next couple of months because right now I'm still... Um, uh, block always. Okay. And my firewall just keeps wanting me to install something. Uh, so Microsoft Photos was blocked from accessing the internet. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so what I was saying, like, um, if other things work out, like with my action figures, uh, selling toys online uh, with my company Action Play Hobbies, um, you know, this, this is another thing that I have a passion for and I uh, look forward to continue doing because I have, like... Uh, tons and boxes of action figures here if you want to have a kind of a little bit of a look at you know what I do here let me just kind of flip this around so over here I kind of got shelves and shelves of toys uh, I have more in the back and, and so, this, so I got all kinds of stuff here like I got the uh, some Predator stuff, I got all kinds of Star Trek stuff, um, I got all kinds of uh, Star Wars Black Series, but from the old, the, from the first collection, uh, some Halo stuff, and uh, over here is kind of like my corner, if I turn on my light, so over here is kind of like where all my collection of stuff, like all my Star Wars uh, figures um, have more in the back uh, and you can see I have some Star Wars figures here I call my Star Wars collection here which I'm missing tons of but because I live in Canada um, we don't get them and I did work at Toys R Us last year let me just get kind of in the light here and uh, some of these things did come in, but uh, these would disappear. And there was never enough. Like, they would have maybe about five or six of, you know, something in Star Wars or, or some other toy. And you had, like, a hundred people in line before the store even opened, run, running in and grabbing everything. So if you were somebody that was looking to buy these things, forget about it. They were never available. They were always gone, and there was never enough. They always ran out. And from somebody who has experience buying toys, um, it was very difficult to get these things in Canada. You actually, I have to order these things from the States. The companies here in Canada are pretty lame. Uh, but if you want Funko Pops, hey, everybody wants a Funko Pop, eh? And where you, get, you can pull them out of your ass, like, left and right. I'm going to say, uh, it's like, uh, where's, Hanky, uh, where's Hanky the Christmas Pooh Pop, you know? I'm like, come on, guys, really? 
Is that is that all that we need in this world? Our Funko Pop bo bobblehead, whatever thing. But hey, I got, I've got mine. Where are mine? Oh yeah, these are only ones that I liked that I have, which was the um, Ghost. Uh, let me zoom in here. The Ghostbusters ones. Uh, I'm missing two of them. I gave them to my kids, but I have more in a box. So, uh, I will get those back. Oh, let me zoom out here. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. Just all kinds of things. I'm all over the place. Kind of have a touch of ADHD here, maybe. I don't know. Or compulsive disorder. Ah, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, I'm having fun doing it. So, thanks for watching my lame-ass video. Um, but... Hey, it's a free world, it's a free speech, and I thanks to YouTube, I can do whatever I want. But uh, just, just for you guys out there who do follow me and wonder, what the hell is going on? Why is this channel so dead? Well, that's pretty much it. But it's coming back, all right? So this is Bernie Peace Sign Out, and uh, peace, all right? Talk to you guys soon.